Welcome back. What is called an illegal teacher strike in Newton, Massachusetts, kept kids out of class for two weeks, affecting 12,000 students. Our next guest says school choice is the solution. Quote, empower parents with choices, embrace school choice initiatives, and make children the center of the system. Corey DeAngelo, senior fellow at the American Federation for Children, joins us now. Corey, thank you for joining us. Break down what happened here and why this matters. Yeah, look, I'm actually here in Boston, only 15 minutes away from Newton, Massachusetts. And in the state, teacher strikes are technically illegal for all public sector employees. Yet in the past two years alone, since 2022, there have been six teacher strikes in the state, the latest being in Newton, Massachusetts, where they spend about $30,000 per student per year. They locked kids out of school again for two weeks and parents didn't really have any recourse. They don't have school choice in the current situation. So their children's education was basically held hostage for two weeks and they had to figure out what to do with mm. their children. A better solution would be to provide accountability to this system, to let families be in charge, take their kids' education dollars to private schools that are open that don't strike willy-nilly uh, every, every so often um, through, over time. So empower yeah. parents with choice and things will change. You know, the term school choice gets a little ambiguous when we when we talk about it on a broad scale because there's certain versions of it and so many versions when I hear you speak I hear you talking about school choice specifically in the sense of the money that you pay in taxes to your local schools would go with your child there's private schools there are uh, my kid goes to a charter school that's supported by the public school system what remedies are there on school choice and should they happen like in Georgia at the state and local level or at a federal level? What is your, what's the policy that you really want to see enacted? Yeah, it's already happening in red states. The laboratories of democracy are finally listening to what parents want, but it's funding the student, not the system. The money that's meant for educating the child, you can take it to the public school if you want. We spend about 20,000 per kid per year in America depending on where you're at. But you could also take that to a private school, charter school, or a home-based education option. States like Florida, Arizona, uh, and other red states are already doing this. But it's kind of hard to get through the legislature in a place like Massachusetts, where you have union-controlled politicians. We do have a federal initiative, a tax credit, to get some of your money back at the federal level called the Educational Choice for Children Act. That can supercharge red state school choice that's already happening, but it could also expand school choice to blue states that are dominated by union-bought politicians. The, the biggest pushback on this always comes down to the kids that can afford the transportation and the opportunity to have the better the more engaged parents are the ones that will get the better education, but it will leave those that are disadvantaged even further behind in bad schools. What's your answer to that when you talk about school choice? Yeah, that explains the status quo. We have inequities built into the government school system where mm. the government says, you live here, you got to go to this school, even if it's a lower quality institution. This at least gives families more equality of opportunity, allows families from less advantaged populations to go to private schools as well. Mm -hmm. And education savings accounts, the money following the child, you could use that for transportation to get to the private schools as well if, if uh, your state passes an education savings account. So this is an equalizer. It allows more families to access opportunities. Absolutely. I've got a high school freshman and a kindergartner. These things matter to me as so many Americans and parents. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.